All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Yes, today. Hopefully this video goes up on Thursday, but today we got the season three roadmap for Call of Duty Vanguard. I figured I'd cover it because to be honest with you guys, it doesn't look terrible. Okay. I feel like I feel like they really listened this time. You know, they listened to a lot of the complaints. There's a huge big one. Uh, a certain item, a certain deployable has always been in Call of Duty, especially like, you know, for, for ranked play and stuff like that. And it wasn't in this game for some odd, odd reason that we will never know, right? Hint, hint, sarcasm. But before I get to that, I want to cover basically everything that's covering that everything that's been covered or everything that's been announced rather in the season three roadmap here. So uh, it's going to be affecting obviously Vanguard multiplayer, Vanguard zombies, and obviously Warzone, their cash cow, their, you know, their papa right now. So uh, let's get into the video. If you're new to the channel, you know, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you enjoy the gameplay in the background. I get a 4KD playing in this exposed game mode here. It's uh, it's just like a lot of fun in my opinion, honestly. Like it, it I'm not, I don't want to say it will bring me back to Vanguard, but like it's a good step. I can't complain. I can't be like they're not doing anything to try to get people back because quite honestly, this is a fun game mode, okay? I like this game mode where basically everyone's lit up. You know, you can see everyone. There's not really any camping. There's no dead silence. There's no hiding. You know, you can see people. People light up in red. People are always on the UAV. The bad thing is there's no streaks in the game, which is a little annoying, but I understand they probably had to do that for balancing issues. So hopefully enjoy the gameplay. Now, 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 let's get into the gameplay contents. All right, so let's cover Warzone real quick. I am not a Caldera player. You probably have not seen any Caldera gameplay on this channel because it's just not for me. I don't like the map. I don't like how slow paced it is. I'm a Rebirth player. So anything for Rebirth, I would enjoy. It doesn't really look like there's much Rebirth here though. There's a new Gulag, cool. There's a new POI called Big Sight. I'm assuming that has to do with the whole Godzilla King Kong event, which I mean, I don't think I mentioned this video yet, but you probably, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that, yes, there's a Godzilla King Kong event. I'll get to that in a minute here as well. We have a feature here called New Gameplay. I have no idea what that's about. And then Caldera Iron Trials, which is probably going to be like just 250 base health or something like that. You can, your health can probably go up to like 300, something like that. Uh, it's probably going to be fun. It's probably going to be nice uh, for, you know, sweats out there. I'm sure there's going to be like some PRs and world records broken. If you're into watching Warzone, which I'm definitely much more into watching Warzone than playing Warzone these days, uh, you know, that's probably something to look out for if you're just into that kind of content on like YouTube or Twitch. Let's get into the big event here. Obviously, it is the monster of all seasons, mainly because Godzilla versus King Kong. It's called Operation Monarch. Apparently, this operation is going to be beginning May 11th, but the season is going to start on uh, on April 27th. So a little confusing there. Season is going to start next week, uh, six days or so, and then the Godzilla event is going to start in like early to mid May. So that's what you got to look out for there. There's some bundles here on the bottom for Godzilla themed and King Kong themed stuff like that. It's cool. You know, I made a video on Snoop yesterday or two days ago. I'm not going to spend money on this game. It doesn't really matter what they do. You know, you could say Warzone's a free game, but for me, it doesn't do enough for me. I'm not that into Warzone anymore and um, definitely not playing Vanguard multiplayer that much. I'll tell you that right now. Speaking of Vanguard multiplayer, let's get into some of the stuff that you guys probably care about because this is mainly a multiplayer themed channel. Uh, the M1916 Marksman rifle is coming out, the Nikita v AVT assault rifle, and then a junkyard melee weapon. Uh, there's going to be three bundles and then a new submachine gun coming out in season. Uh, there's also going to be some operators. Who really cares? I'm sorry. I, I really don't care. I didn't play the campaign. I will not play the campaign. So there's there's no point there. And then let's talk about multiplayer because uh, we are getting two new maps. We are getting Mayhem and Sphere. Uh, and then the big thing that a lot of people have been asking for, a lot of content creators have been making videos on this, the trophy system is coming to the game as a field upgrade finally. You know, finally. It's probably going to be either a fast or a medium charge. I don't think it's been explained just yet. Maybe it will be by the time this video goes up, but at the time making it, I don't think it's been explained. I would guess, you know, fast or mid, mainly because it's going to be very, very useful in stuff like ship house and hardcore modes, obviously in ranked play, you know, like this is going to be, this is going to be key. You know, dead silence is going to be gone. Munitions box is going to be gone. Everyone's just going to run trophy systems because it's huge. Everyone hates dying in aids. Stuns need to go away forever. So it's cool that it's, it's going to be here. Uh, I'm excited for it. And then lastly, here in the multiplayer section, we have uh, some ranked play season and rewards. So, I mean... 
I mean, it would be cool if you could tell me what those rewards are, but I, I guess you can't fit it on this roadmap. There's some zombie stuff. Don't make me laugh. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, overall, this season does look pretty promising. I'm not going to lie. I think that the multiplayer maps being good or not will be a huge factor. I do wish that we had at least four, you know, like maybe two remasters coming as well as two new maps. But... Um, I, I guess they're kind of chalking it with with Vanguard here. I don't really blame them. You know, you got people like Prestigious Key and Exclusive Ace complaining about lack of content, complaining about not what, not like not knowing what to upload. I mean, like if they don't know what to upload, like what do you think I'm trying to do? You know, like, like there's really we're stretching it out here. Okay, Call of Duty has like left us high and dry this year. It's quite sad. You know, a lot of your favorite content creators have packed it up or switched games or just you know completely just fell off completely because there's no point you know your blame truths your drifter your thunder eight thoughts even you know people just dip out of this franchise because the franchise isn't taking care of its creators so why should the creators take care of the franchise look here look here look listen there's not a whole lot of point in going over like uh, some of the, the exclusive stuff and things like that. Uh, apparently Mayhem, which we just received word, is going to be kind of a smaller map. I mean, it's called Mayhem, so it's probably going to be pretty chaotic. Uh, they say that it's going to be similar to like something like Das House. Um, literal Mayhem at the start of the season. Probably expecting some you know, terrible spawns. That's that's my guess. Uh, there's also going to be some rebirth limited time modes coming as well. We're just getting this news like as I'm recording this video here. So I'm kind of like reading off Charlie Intel with you guys. You know, similar to how like other uh, you know sites and other outlets out there kind of just read off Charlie Intel and you know claim it as their own or claim it as breaking news, even though Charlie broke it first. Let's just be honest here. That's essentially it. You know, I, I didn't want to stretch it out too much. Obviously, the skins honestly look pretty cool. I, I really like the King Kong skin. I'm not going to lie. Uh, between that and the Snoop Dogg skin, they really got me tempted to open my wallet, but I just can't do it. You know, I, I saw a lot of comments in the last video uh, about Snoop Dogg where people were like, oh, yeah, I bought it and stuff like that. I saw I played, you know, I think in this gameplay here that you're watching, I, I played a lot of people wearing and sporting the Snoop Dogg skin and I... <laughs> I'm not surprised, you know, I feel like there's a lot of like quote unquote NPCs, quote unquote like bots who play this game, people who like, you know, oh, that's cool. Like, I want to get that, you know, they don't really think about it the long run. They don't really think about, you know, what they're doing. Maybe they just think very short term and they think about like, oh, yeah, I like Vanguard. I like Snoop Dogg. I'm going to get it. And uh, again, I'm not bashing you. There's nothing wrong with it. Just, you know, as a consumer. I would say be careful about where you spend your money and how you spend your money when you support these these devs because these devs look at these kind of numbers they look at what sells what doesn't sell and um, you know if you're if, if you're paying for something at a higher price than it should be guess what they're gonna keep charging you at that higher price than it should be so you know if you think that you know paying 25 bucks to look like Snoop Dogg is worth it to you hey man that's that's up to you right. I'm personally not going to pay more than like eight bucks for that. But, you know, if you're going to pay 25, it, it is what it is. It's your money, I guess. While I got some time here at the end of this, uh, this game playing this video, uh, I, I just want to say, like, I apologize for the past, what, three months, two months of just super slow uploads. Uh, a lot of my uploads contain, you know, videos or, or it's like sections of videos kind of like this where I just kind of ramble at the end because I don't know how many times I can say this, but I don't know what to do with the channel because I want to do COD videos. I just don't know what's going to sell. I don't know what I care about. You know, I care about different things all the time. Some weeks I'm really into Vanguard multiplayer. Some weeks I'm really into Rebirth. Some weeks I don't want to touch either. Sometimes I want to play ranked play only. You know, I just get in different moods and I feel like if I posted like live comms, they would literally get like 20 views and it just discourage me more. I feel like people only come for commentaries and again, that's fine, but I can't do a commentary on nothing. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. When there's nothing going on in the world, there's not much to make a commentary about it. So, you know, I apologize for the lack of videos. You know, some of you guys miss them. Some of you guys don't care. But uh, I just wanted to say that. And and I'm hoping, you know, I'm, I'm praying here that in May we start getting some mono for two news and leaks. Uh, I want to make daily uploads again or at least every other day. You know, I, that's my goal these you know videos like twice a week like they're okay for the channel you know i'm kind of like surviving here but they're not ideal you know i, I want to do more videos more frequently but when there's nothing to cover there's there's just nothing to cover so apologize for you know the rant at the end i do want to hear from you guys in the comment section if you're excited for season three classified arms i don't know who made that name up but okay classified arms i guess we're going with that King Kong and Godzilla, who do you got? I'll probably do a YouTube poll on that just to just to gauge the audience a little bit here. But 
that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And, and thanks so much for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links in the description down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.